Welcome to the Ambient Tutorials. In this video, we'll show you how to sync up a Sony F55 camera to an external generator. Before we get started, let's take a brief look at the required gear. Of course, you'll need a Sony F55 camera. A timecode capable audio recorder with built-in locket circuitry or with an external locket. A locket device. An LTC out cable and a BNC50 cable. The first step is to set up the F55 so that it continuously takes the locket timecode and genlock synchronization. Before we proceed to the menus, we need to make sure that the physical TCIO switch on the camera is set to the in position. Now let's move on to the camera menu. Note that most required menus are only displayed in the viewfinder or via the sub SDI outputs when they're enabled. The first step is to get into the system settings. Press Menu and scroll down to the System menu. Choose System Settings and change the frequency to your project time base. If you change from PAL to NTSC frame rates or vice versa, the camera will automatically reboot. Now press menu again and go to the dedicated timecode menu. The first thing to change here is the timecode mode. And always use the preset for external timecode. Now change the run mode to free run. And go back to the timecode main menu. Switch the display to timecode so you can monitor what you're doing. Now the F55 is all set and waiting for the external timecode and sync signal, so let's move on and set up the locket box. When you start an ambient locket from factory default, it will always boot unjammed in internal generator mode with sync switched off. So the first thing we should decide is the running mode of the unit. Internal generator should be used if you just want to jam sync the locket without ACN. Continuous Jam or C-Jam is used if you want to use the ACN for zero drift wireless synchronization. And TRX is used for wireless record run timecode setups. We want to use C-Jam being the most convenient and accurate mode. For timecode without Genlock, we go to the timecode menu and choose our project time base frame rate. But as we want to use Sync, we'll go straight to the Sync menu. Beware that Sony cameras are only capable of reading dedicated Genlock sync rates for every recording rate. Often that rate is different than the rate you're using. You can always refer to this table in the Sony camera manual. In our case, we need to choose 1080i with 47.95 frames per second. The timecode frame rate will automatically match up at 23.98 frames per second. Since we're using the CGM mode, the ACN is already enabled and working per factory default on channel 18. If for some reason you'd like to work on a different channel or use some of the features of the extended menu, jump into the ACN menu and set up your network as required. Finally, we need to jam sync our locket boxes. This can be done the old way via cable from our timecode master source if you're using the internal timecode mode. Of course, you should make sure that the source is jammed correctly first. With Continuous Jam, you can use any ACN device as timecode master. As you get started, simply jam the master or edit the start timecode. Then go to the ACN menu, jump to the sync menu, and start the CJAM broadcast. You will get immediate feedback on how many ACN units were jammed successfully. Although you can use any ACN device's master, we want to use the master locket to wirelessly jam sync all units. Thanks to its web interface, this device offers powerful visual feedback and direct control of all ACN units in our network. To access the web interface, open the browser of any device connected to the Wi-Fi of the master and go to the domain masterlocket.local or 10.0.0.1. Now go to the timecode tab and change the frame rate of the unit to the project time base by clicking on the pencil and choosing from the drop down menu and apply. 
type in the required start value, or simply use the time of day from your device. Check to make sure the master is set to the same ACN channel as your other locket devices, and hit the Start CJAM button. Within a few seconds, all your ACN devices should appear green on the screen, ready for naming, displaying the battery status, and the current frame rate. Now we can connect our synced locket to the Sony camera. When your timecode is set up correctly and the camera reads the incoming timecode, external link will appear after a few seconds in the viewfinder. To check if the camera is also responding to the external sync, go to the main menu, select System, then the Genlock menu. Here you can see if the camera is still working on internal or if the displayed reference has changed to external HD. When your system is synced like this, your cameras will run for a whole shooting day without drift. In addition, we strongly recommend that you check the synchronization of your system to avoid any issues.